In the Dark We Forget is a novel by Sandra Wong. I believe this is um, her first novel. Now, honestly, I saw this at the library. No, I saw it at the shelf at a shopper's drug mart and I want to check it out. It has a pretty interesting concept. It's about a woman who wakes up uh, in the middle of nowhere. She has amnesia and she gets brought to a police station and we find out she's been roofied. We don't know why, but basically she is trying to find out who she is and then she finds that her parents are missing and then she finds that her parents won a 40 million dollar lottery ticket. Uh, so that probably has something to do with it. So that's kind of like the concept, but the, move, uh, the book is more of a psychological drama than it is a thriller. Um, our main character, Cleo, she basically recovers, uh, so doesn't recover her memory really. We don't know why, because roofies usually only take out 12 hours, but the police are on her all the time. She's got a brother. He's trying to help her piece things together, but it's mostly like from her perspective. So it's a lot of like, you know, her losing time, her getting filled with anxiety, her trying to like grapple and try, trying to like deal with like who she really is because a lot of people are treating her with kid gloves the whole book and uh, there's not much terms of going on for thrills. It's just sort of like her state of mind, her going through this emotional time and, and the book's pacing suffers for this because nothing really happens for the first like half and then when we wind down to the finale, it's a really underwhelming. I could have done a little bit more, I felt. The, um, there's a lot of characters, you know, they're there and they're helping her and stuff, but it's lacking thrills. It's supposed to be a thriller. It feels more like a, just a drama. And when we get to the, the, the big reveal, it's just kind of like a letdown, ends abruptly. But this is the debut of the author, so, you know, cut her a little slack. But overall, uh, I was able to finish it, but I had to force myself to finish it. And it was, I, had to, I put it down a few times. I listened to it on audiobook and I, I had to like sort of push myself to finish it. So um, I give In the Dark We Forget a 2 out of 5.